Ayan! It's a lovely afternoon. It's a jovial afternoon for each one of us here. Welcome to our English 8 Itulai online tutorial because it's Tuesday today, which is Choose English Day. So welcome po sa ating live virtual session or live class here in Itulai. And it is a jovial afternoon once again with Tutor Jovi. <laughs> From SDO Butuan City, this is Tutor Jovi guiding bright minds to be English proficient, ready, at nagsasabing pag dinagdaga ng learning, nagiging mas magaling. Hello po sa ating lahat. Namiss ko po kayo. It has been a week. Um, looking forward to this session because I am really excited to see each one of us dito sa ating session ngayon. Ayan po. Now, Chuti, so while we are waiting for the other viewers to be here also, please comment your name, the name of your section, and your SDOs, okay po? Para po malaman natin kung sino-sino yung nandito sa ating comment section or sa ating session ngayon. Okay po ba? Ayan. Ayan. So, I would just like to greet Leia De Vera from Ramon National High School, Tampil Jollibee from Anifan Shari. Ayan, Christian Carl Miraflor, happy birthday. Ayan, thank you po sa lahat po nang nakaremember ng birthday ko. Thank you, thank you, thank you po so much. We also have viewers from Diamantina National High School. We also have from Ampaya National High School. Hello to Orly La Fuente, Ayesa Agustin, Kiasa Jane Piedad. Hello po. Very good. Ayan, madami na po tayong viewers ngayon. And I guess you are all excited to have our activities later. Ayan, so may we now have our PowerPoint presentation. Ayan po. Ayan po natin. Okay, so while we are waiting for our PowerPoint presentation, I would just like to greet all of my colleagues, all the teachers from SD Obut One City, and to all the viewers in Ampaya National High School right now. Hello po, and to my principal, Dr. Juarez L.T. Carlos, and our PSDS, Dr. Fe M. Puspus. Ayan, hello, hello, hello. So we will share po uh, our PowerPoint presentation. Tingnan po natin, okay? Ayan. So, Chutis, mention now your friends or your classmates or schoolmates or even your parents and teachers because they might want to join in our session today. They want to participate. Ayan, bumubuhos po ng mga heart react dito sa ating comment section. Hello to Jezreel. Hello to Nadine Domingo Manabat. Ayan, hello po. Ayan, our PowerPoint presentation is up now. So, Chutis, welcome again to our English 8 Itulai online tutorial with Chutor Ruby and Chutor Jovi. Chutor Rubilin is attending to a very important matter, but later on, maybe when, when she's free, she can join in our session today. Hi to Marites Negros, who is watching right now. So, always catch us up every Tuesday at 2.20 to 3 p.m. Meron na po tayong uh, new Facebook page intended for Itulai sessions. So, don't forget to please visit this page click the like or tap the the like uh button po para you can be updated of the different sessions here in Itulay. Ayan, at nanonood din po si Ma'am Lavella Badajos from SD Obut One City. Now, Chutis, while we are while you are also mentioning your friends, why not also tap a heart react and like button po and share our session para naman mas marami pa tayong makakasama sa ating session ngayon, di ba? Ayan. Pag mas marami, mas nagiging masaya. Kasi nga, maram, kasi marami tayo dito na nag, nag kahit nag-virtual interaction. Okay? So, thank you so much for sharing our session and don't forget always to tap the like, react, and the, the heart react. Ayan po. So, Chutis, today and this month, we are celebrating the National Arts Month. And next Saturday will be the third Saturday wherein the Itulai tutors and Itulai um, personnel are celebrating the National Arts Month with the theme, Sining ng Pag-asa. So don't forget, Chutis, to please also watch the different showcasing of talents in Itulai. And of course, we are also celebrating the International Mother Language Day wherein we promote 
um, linguistic diversity and to promote also multilingualism. And dahil dyan, meron po akong, uh, meron po akong activity while, uh, before we proceed to our session. Now, Chutis, alam ko na kahit dito sa atin ngayon, iba-iba yung lingwahe natin. Kahit even in a country, even in the Philippines, we have different and diverse language, right? So, alam ko na nang ga, nang, galing tayo sa iba't ibang parte ng bansa. Now, Chutis, I have here an English statement and I want you to translate this into your own language, okay? So, this, how would you say you are very good sa sa language ninyo ayan watching right now is tutor rem our tutor for english then please also watch their session later ayan so chutis how would you say you are very good in your own language ayan <laughs> hello po mom love ayan so chutis type 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 how would you say you are good in your language sa amin dito sa mindanao we say we say it differently like we say it of course it depends on the intensity of of our emotion that's why our vo our voice our tone our pitch vary okay so when i when we say you are very good we say kama ayun ni mo oy katleya answered naglaing ka I don't know, Kathleen, if I'm saying it right, but thank you so much for sharing. Naglaing ka. Wow. Nadine also, Aaron Ace answered, napakagaling mo. Very good. Okay, sabihin nyo nga, sabay kayo sa akin how you say you are very good in, in my language. Say, kamaayo ni mo, oy. Yes, kamaayo ni mo, oy. kamaayo ni mo, oy. Ayan. It's like, oh, Avana also answered, Mar marhayun kang maray. Ayan. Thank you so much, Tutis. Elo, kano po naglaing ka? Okay. Thank you, Nadine. From Bea, also, maurag ka. Ayan. si ang ganda. Ang ganda pakinggan. Kung kayo siguro yung nagsasalita, siguro mas maganda pakinggan. So, thank you so much. I learned a lot from you today, Tutis. A good job. Thank you for that. So, here, here is now our additional exercise last time. So, this, uh, this was uh, the activity. Directions, read the excerpts, underline the words that the writer used to show bias, and answer the questions that follow. So, ito po yung text at dahil po medyo mahaba at alam po namin as binasa nyo na po ito. Okay, so punta na po tayo sa uh, questions. What is the writer's opinion of the stereotype pink for the girl's attitude to gender clothing? Number two, how biased is this article? Explain your reasons. At dahil ang galing nyo, matibayon ka in Bicol, maayo ka ayo in Cebuano. <laughs> Ayan, ang galing. Parang, I, I enjoy the reading, the different versions of you are very good. Ayan. And here are now the amazing English outputs from our tutees. And according to Mark Denver Lozada, most girls prefer to wear pink but on all because everyone has their own preferences yes that's all right and marami din naman akong kakilala na mga na mga boys or male that are, who are fond of wearing pink okay and it doesn't really uh it doesn't really matter uh if what color of the clothing you are wearing because uh, it, because colors don't have gender right so, yan po. And according to, also to Kimberly Manaog, how biased is this article? Um, it's biased because we dress for a certain reason. Ayan. And the, the writer in our article says that he is certainly um, disagreeing with the thought. Okay. And we also have an out from output from Christian Alarcio of Ocampo National High School. So, bigyan naman natin sila ng virtual applause sa ating comment section. So, thank you so much, Judy's, for your outputs. Ayan. And we also have our amazing English Judy of the Week from Ramon National High School, SDO Isabella. Chloe Nicole B. Viernes. Ayan, congratulations, Sari Chloe, for doing such a great job last week. And I know you are here also watching the session, so congratulations. Bigyan naman natin sila ng limang bagsak. One, two, three, four, five in our comment section. Kung meron po kayo makakita na applause icon sa ating comment section, so please type for our amazing English tutees and amazingly students who submitted their outputs. And we also have our... Amazing English 
Teacher of the Week, Miss Marites B. Negros, Teacher to Vampayo National High School, SDO Bituan City. So, Teacher Marites, you are our jovial teacher and our Ruby Jam teacher. Very good. Congratulations po sa ating lahat. And now, our module reference for our lesson today is from DepEd L. Dep at Central Office BLR and SDO Navata. So thank you so much, Paul, for allowing us to use your module as our reference for today's session. Now, truth is, here is the list of the topic for quarter three. And we are so proud of you. Chudor Ruby and I are very proud of you for finishing week one, which is examining biases made by the author. And welcome now to our week two topic, which is all about identifying propaganda. Propaganda techniques. Now, let's have a review. Chutis, ano yung pinag-usapan natin last time? And this is what you're going to do. Complete the diagram by providing the ways to examine bias. And we discussed five, right? So, Chutis, type now the ways in recognizing bias or prejudice in the text read. Okay? So, it doesn't have a particular order. You can type you can type your answers, all right, in no particular order. Ayan. Okay. We also have teachers watching right now. Wow. So we have teacher Marjorie, teacher Marites, teacher Love. All right. We also have students and parents who are here. Please also uh, mention some of your friends. Ayan. So do we have an answer already? So chutis, ano yung mga ibat ibang paraan? in recognizing bias how do we examine a text a biased text okay when can we say if a an, if an article or a text is biased again so we have answer from avana polis have stereotypes fact and opinion okay thank you so much avana what about the others let us see your answers yeah one-sided argument look for one-sided argument Ayan. Keep coming. Keep your answers coming. Hi to Kurt Kian, Irish Nicole, Abalen Hermogeno. Ayan. Keep up. Okay. Look for fact. Ayan. Or opinion from Nadine. There you go. Okay. So let us find out whether your answers are all correct. Okay. So Yes, that's it. So how do we recognize bias? First, look for loaded words if it's negatively or positively loaded words. Watch out for stereotypes, you know, sweeping statements. Ayan, Mark Denver, good job. Third, does the author present facts or opinions? That's it. Fourth, notice vague language or generalizations. And fifth, be on the lookout for one-sided arguments. Ayan, very good. Your answers a while ago are all correct. You are all so amazing. Very good. You're still, you were still able to remember our lesson last time. Now, in relation to biases, kasi meron tayo nakikita every day naririnig or nakikita na bias, right? Biases or prejudices. So, in relation to that, let's welcome you all to our quarter three week two topic, which is all about identifying propaganda techniques. In this lesson, you are going to enumerate the kinds of propaganda techniques, explain the goal of propaganda used, and third, create an original propaganda poster advertising itolize. I guess that these objectives are very attainable. Now, chutis, meron tayong game ngayon. Directions. Identify the name of product or service referred to by the following taglines. Diba? Meron tayong mga naririnig ng mga taglines na tumatak talaga sa atin. And I want you to identify the name of the product or service based on the tagline. Okay po ba? So, I know mga keyboard warriors kayo. Handa na po. Handa na po ba tayo? So, please nga, comment, uh, thumbs up in our comment section if you are ready. Ayan. Yes, your answers are all correct, Christian Carl. Karyon. Katleya. Okay, let's have number one. Disclaimer lang po pala. Specific products described or demonstrated during this session are provided as examples only. Okay po? Educational examples lang po. And are not specifically endorsed by the presenters or any 
or, or the Itulai management. Okay po ba? Klaro po ba yun? Okay? So we are not endorsing these products. We are only using these products as educational examples for education purposes only. Ayan, number one. We find ways. Ayan, number one. We find ways. Ayan, type, type, type. Your answer in our comment section. What product is this or service? Ayan. With the tagline, we find ways. Yeah, naghanap tayo ng paraan palagi. <laughs> okay, so we have J. Althea Frey. We also have students from uh, Diamantina National High School. Yeah, napaflood na naman ng like and heart react sa ating session ngayon. We find ways. Ano po ba ito? Ayan, from Maritas Negros BDO. Yes, it's Banco de Oro or BDO. Good job. Hi to Chin Chin from SDO Agusan del Sur watching right now. Aaron Ace also. Yes, your answers are all correct. Let's have number two. This is the world's number one anti-dandruff shampoo. Ayan, this is the world's number one anti-dandruff shampoo. Ano kaya ito? Ayan, banko tayo kanina. Ngayon naman, anong shampoo? Okay po. This is the world's number one anti-dandruff shampoo. Ayan, chutis, keep coming. Keep your answers coming. Guess video po for number one. What about for number two? This is the world's number one anti-dandruff shampoo. Do we have an answer already? Let me see in our comment section. Ayan po. So, marami talagang <laughs> smart sa... Sa mga viewers natin ngayon, all of our viewers are really smart. Ayan, and very participative. Okay, so we have an answer from Obana, head and shoulders. Sabi, no, sabi ng iba, guard. So it's really divided po ba? <laughs> okay, so we have, yes, it's head and shoulders. This is the world's number one anti-dandruff shampoo. Well, let's have number three. Kung number one, banko. Number two, shampoo. Ngayon naman, it's time everyone flies. Ayan po. It's time everyone flies. Ayan. What's your answer here? It's time everyone flies. Okay. Sean C. Chin Chin, your answer is correct. Say my hi to your mama. Lovely, okay? Loverly. Ayan, so we have an answer already for number three. Let us check the comment section. Yes, your answer for number two is correct head and shoulder head and shoulders and both what about for number three yes it's cebu pacific air it's time everyone flies okay sino po nakakuha ng tamang sagot dito ayan there you go congratulations po cebu pacific air it's time everyone flies let's have number four Ang sarap ng feeling mo. That one. Sarap ng feeling mo. Ano kaya ito? What product is this? Yan, we have, medyo nade-delay po talaga ang sagot ng ating mga viewers ngayon. I don't know, baka meron tayo mga internet glitches, pero itutuloy at itutulay pa rin natin ito. Okay? Okay po? <laughs> Ayan. So, what is this? Ang sarap ng feeling mo. Let's see. Do we have already an answer from our viewers? Ribisco from Sean C. Avana also answered Ribisco. Let's find out. Yes, you are right. Mahilig kayo. Oh, mahilig kayo sa Ribisco, ah. <laughs> Love ko yung strawberry flavor, eh. Let's have number five, the last number. Okay? So, tapos na tayo sa banko, sa shampoo, uh, sa isang airline company. Number five, nakasisiguro gamot ay laging bago. Ayan po. Nakasisiguro gamot ay laging bago. Sa ano po ito? Ayan. Comment now your answer. Okay, according to Trisha Goho Cruz. Ayan, ang bilis. <laughs> mercury drug. That's correct, ate. Good job. It's Mercury Drug Store. Very good. So see, these taglines become very memorable to us because, okay, these are some of the techniques to use in promoting products, okay? Now, to this, where do we usually hear or view these taglines? Saan ba natin sila nakikita or naririnig? Ayan, tingnan nga po natin. Okay, 
where do we usually hear or view these taglines? Okay, taglines or slogans kung sa iba. Okay, these are phrases na ginagamit for advertisement. So, according to Sean Manangkil, hello Kuya Sean, happy watching. You are right, advertisements. Okay, let us see. Okay, kung tama po tayo, alright? Okay, so these taglines or slogans, we usually hear or we usually encounter them almost every day, okay? And we usually hear them or view them in advertisements. Advertisements use different techniques to persuade viewers buy the products or avail the services. The messages that these ads convey are carefully crafted to manipulate people's beliefs or actions. Ayan po. Okay, kayo nga po, uh, I will ask the chutis now. How, why do you patronize? So, bakit yung bumibili ng isang product? Sige nga. For example, why do we particularly buy, why do we buy this particular food? Why do we patronize this particular food chain? Why do we go to this restaurant? Paano po ba? Okay, bakit nga ba? Ayan po. Why do you buy or avail such product? Okay? Sa akin, uh, bumibili ako sometimes, bumibili, bumibili ako ng isang product based on the testimonies of people na gumagamit na din ng product. Kasi nga, para sa akin, kung na-experience niya na good ang product or bad ang product, of course, I will not also, I will buy or I will not buy. Kasi naging testimony na. Okay? Ayan, good job. So, students, today we will be talking about Propaganda. What is a propaganda? This aims to influence people's attitudes, perspectives, and emotions towards some cause or position by presenting only one side of an argument. Okay? The main goal of propaganda is really to persuade. Ano ba yung persuade sa languages natin? Okay? Para sa amin, mangumbinse, manghimok. Okay? Ayan po. Okay, according to Havana, ni-recommend po ng people na nasa paligid ko. Marniel also answered because of their good quality. Ayan. According to Sheena Zapata, to try if it's effective. Very good. So, to these, all of your answers are manif manifestations that you are influenced by these propaganda techniques. So, just like this illustration here, propaganda is directing us away from the truth, okay? Because sometimes propagandas are used to manipulate our beliefs or actions, okay? Now, these are the five commonly used propaganda techniques. Since we only have 40 minutes in this session, we will be only discussing the five commonly used propaganda techniques. But there are a lot to this, okay? Um, you are given the freedom to explore more of these propaganda techniques. And I know that you already encountered these, but let us deepen our understanding about these propaganda techniques. So we have here five. The first one is name calling, glittering generalities, card stacking bandwagon, and testimonial. Let's start with name-calling. The term itself, comparing one product to another and saying it is weaker or inferior in quality or taste. It trash talks person or a product and used to make, uh, this is used to reject or condemn a person or idea without examining the label, okay? So we have here an example. So this is only an example po, ha? I'm not advertising the brand here, okay? So we have, can you see po, may dalawa tayong burgers, but it seems that the 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 burger, the medium-sized burger from the other brand is presented and compared to the burger of this brand or of this fast food chain, okay? So it seems uh, like the the burger from the other brand is medyo maliit konti kaysa sa burger ng fast food chain na ito. Kaya sabi ito, hmm, seems, like, seems more like a medium Mac. Ayan po, okay? So this is name calling. Ayan. I know you have also encountered this. Like It's like uh, comparing two products. Okay? The same product, but of different brands. Ayan po. Making it, make it, it seems like making the other product inferior to the other. 
Okay, let's have number two, glittering generalities. From the term itself, glittering. Using words that are positive and appealing but too vague to have any real meaning. Ginagamit po dito yung mga words of praise. Okay, gaya ng natural, sustainable, organic, patriotism, goodness. Yung parang ganun. For example, so we have here, okay, fresh food, local food, organic food. Of course, for health conscious people or consumers, they would really patronize or buy this product because or this service because because it seems it appeals to to the the words of goodness. Okay, organic, natural, local. Okay po. Ayan, so words of positive uh words of um positive things ayan po and appeals okay glittering generalities let's have the third one ayan thank you po we have here cards tacking advertisers advertisers stress the positive qualities and ignore the negative ones for example Ayan po, meron po tayong fries dito ng isang fast food chain company. Okay, sabi dito, 40% less fat, 30% less calories. How would how would we know if it's really true? Tiba in in as a general thought or as a, or as a general knowledge, fries are really dangerous to our health if we are eating it too much, right? But in this advertisement, it looks like the, the fries from this company looks look very healthy okay because it has 40 percent less fat 30 percent less calories okay so it's like stressing only the positive qualities but how do we know if we won't examine it thor thoroughly right so healthy nga ba? it looks healthy mukhang healthy tingnan because of 40 percent less fat 30 percent less calories so bibili ako sa fries ng ng fries sa company na ito kasi it looks healthy based on the advertisement. Okay po? Ayan. Ano pa ba? Yung mga sugar-free cookies. Yung mga ganon. Okay? So, it's it's really, is it really um, totoo ba talaga na 0% sugar-free? Ayan po. Or 0% sugar uh, free ba? Ang, or 100% rather sugar-free ang ating mga kinakain pag gumagamit sila ng sugar-free. Ayan po. It uses card stacking. Ayan. According to John Shan, it can affect our intestine. Ayan po. So, chutis, be careful. Let us all, we can eat these, right? These types of foods, but in moderation. Okay? Let's have the fourth one. Bandwagon. Okay, but the name itself, advertiser tries to make you feel like everyone else has the product. And if you don't have it too, you'll be left behind. Ayan po, Ben Wagon. For example, loving it is easy. That's why so many people do. Kaya kung wala kang phone na ganito, it feels like um, napapag-iwanan ka, right? Ano pa ba? Yung pagpapatronize ninyo ng isang boy band or... Uh, boy group, okay, sa Korea, right? Kasi yun yung mga hype ng mga hype ng mga kabataan ngayon. So if you feel like if you are not also patronizing also these bands, it feels like it feels like if you are with a group of people who are already who are who are admiring or idolizing these bands, probably you will be left behind. So you will also try to. To also patronize, okay? Kung wala kang lipstick na ganito, parang, ay, ginagamit niya ng mga classmates ko. So, you are joining the bandwagon. Okay po? It, it, it is used, it is a technique used to make you feel like you need to have this product so that you will not be left behind. Okay po ba? Let's have the fifth one. Yes, branded clothing. Very good, Aaron. Pero don't, don't also... Ano ha, na kailangan mo talaga mag-ask ng money from your parents because you need to you need to upkeep or to keep up with the trend or the hype. Okay, there's no need. Ayan. Let's have the fifth one. Ito po yung sinabi ko kanina po na bumibili po ako ng isang product or nag-avail ako ng services. Whenever I hear somebody recommends it or somebody um nagbibigay ng review or testimonies, Nakikita natin ito sa TikTok, YouTube, right? Or kahit sa Facebook. But if they are already giving 
testimonies about the product, okay? A product is endorsed by a celebrity or by an expert. Yan. So, lalo na pag idol nyo yung artista o yung tao na nag-recommend ng product na ito or service na ito, you most likely buy it, okay? For example, so we have here an actress, right? A very known, well-known actress endorsing a brand of coffee. Ayan po. And dahil idol niyo po, dahil idol natin siya, binibili natin yung, we tend to buy also the product because our idols are also using it. Okay? So, testimonial. Okay po? So, I hope it's very clear, though we only have five uh, types of propaganda techniques. These are the commonly used. Okay po? Ayan. So, Tutis, I know you are ready now for our activity. Okay, let's go back again. So, what are those propaganda techniques? So, we have name calling, littering generalities, card stacking, okay, and ayan, bandwagon and testimonial. Ayan, tingnan nga po natin. Okay, let's deepen our understanding further by doing these activities. Let's have the first one. Directions. Identify the propaganda technique used in each tagline or statement. Type the correct answer. So, Chutis, don't forget to type the number and the name of the propaganda technique. Okay, Puba? Ayan, very good na din. Kompleto. From 1 to 5. Good job. Again, I reiterate students or tutees na hindi lang ito 5. Okay? Marami pa. Okay? And it's for you to uh, discover or explore more of those propaganda techniques. Ayan. Ready na bang lahat? Ayan. So we have number 1. Okay? Okay, let's find out. Tingnan niyan po natin. Okay? Ayan, so ready na po ba tayong lahat? So please type a uh, thumbs up in our comment section if you are all ready for our activity. So this is what you're going to do. Identify the propaganda technique used in each tagline or statement. So all you just have to, de to do is to type the answer. Okay po ba? Ayan. Ayan. Bumabaha po ng heart react sa ating comment section. Let's have number one. Okay po. Sasabihin ko po ang ating ng tagline and all you have to do is to type. Okay po ba? Let's have number one. Coke makes your day cooler. Coke makes your day cooler. Ayan po. Ano po kaya yon? Coke makes your day cooler. Okay, type, type, type na your answer. What is it? What propaganda technique is used? Ayan, do we have an answer now? Okay. Glittering generalities. Yes. Sino bang ko mahilig dito uminom ng soft drinks or ng coke? Ayan po. Okay. Naglo-load na po ang aking device ngayon. Kasi nga po talaga itutulay po natin. Kasi today is 2-22-22 and it's the perfect time to manifest goodness. <laughs> Today, kahit po meron tayo mga technical glitches dito, maitutulay pa rin po natin ito. Okay, so what's your answer? Coke makes your day cooler. Glittering generalities. That's correct. Very good, guys. It's glittering generalities. Bakit? Because it makes uses of words of praise and goodness. Bakit ba pag... pag Meron ba tayong pinagdadaanan ngayon? Gaya ng pinagdadaanan ni Tutor Jovi ngayon. pag iinom ba ako ng soft drinks? <laughs> nagiging okay, magiging okay ba? Ayan. Okay. Alright. So, it's glittering generalities. Let's have number two. I decided to buy this cell phone because everybody else is using it. The cell phone has latest cutting-edge technology which is sought by many. 
Okay, number two, I decided to buy cell phone because everybody else is using it. The cell phone has the latest cutting edge technology, which is sought by many. And four, type, type, type now your answers. Do you have an answer now? Okay, according to Paul Vincent, na napaka, na, na unang sumagot, Paul Vincent Makalalad. Yes, it's bandwagon. Good job, chutis. Perfect. Let's have number three. Amazing sugar-free muffins. Healthy sweets that brighten your day. Amazing sugar-free muffins. Healthy sweets that brighten your day. Ayan po. What's your answer for number three? Yes, Katleya, Brent, Avana, Paul Vincent. Your answers are all correct. Chin Chin, your answer is also correct for number two. What about for number three? Amazing sugar-free muffins, healthy sweets that brighten your day. Ayan. What's your answer? Sugar-free muffins. Okay, according to Ethan Mark, it's card stacking. Ayan po. Let's see. Yes, that's good. Wow. Kamaayog yun ninyo, oy. Card stacking. Good job. Ayan, nakalimutan ko na kung paano sabihin sa language ninyo yung you're very good. Okay. Let's have number four. I never expect to be cured from cancer using this miracle drink within three months. The doctor gave me only six months to survive, but God granted my prayers through this food supplement. Try it yourself and it will never fail you. Ayan po. Okay, so yan po ang naging um, statement ng gumamit ng miracle drink na ito. So what's your answer for number four? Bea Magtoto, Brent Raliora. Do I have an answer already? For number four, Bea Magtoto answered testimonial. And nagla Thank you for reminding me. Who was that, Nadine? Naglaing... Ayan, naglaing ka. Very good. I will remember that. <laughs> Thank you. Ayan po. So what's your answer? Yes, it's clear, right? Testimonial. Good job. And the last one. Beware. Terrorists are everywhere. Beware. Terrorists are everywhere. Ayan po. There you go. Keep your answers coming. What propaganda technique is used in this statement? Beware, terrorists are everywhere. Okay, do we have an answer already? So we have an answer again. The first answer from Paul Vincent Bacalalad, it's a name calling. Let's find out. Okay, what about the others? What's your answer? Do, we ha do you have the same answer with Paul Vincent? Hello to Hannah May de Lima. Ayan maram and to Erich, Richel Omak. Jasmine Salinas is also watching. And the correct answer is name calling. Very good. Judy, so got five over five in this activity. Type your answer in the comment section. Who got five over five? Who got four over five? Please type your uh, scores in the comment section. Okay? Ayan. Who got a perfect score? Alam ko lahat siguro nakakuha ng perfect score. Okay. Good job, guys. Now we're done with that first activity. Let's proceed now to our next activity. This time, cuties, you have to identify the propaganda technique used in the following examples and type the letter of the correct answer. Okay, po? So I have here situations, and all you have to do is to identify the propaganda technique. Okay, po ba? Wow, Bea Magdoto got five. Marniel also got five. Chin Chin got five. Richel got five. Let's have number one. A famous basketball player in the name of Michael Jordan recommends a particular brand of skates. Ezekiel got four. That's okay. You still did great. Okay, po. Number one. A famous basketball player, Michael Jordan, recommends a particular brand of skates. A, glittering generali generalities. B, testimonial. C, name calling. Or D, card stacking. Those who got four over five, it's okay. You still have the chance to do more in this activity. Ayan po. What's your answer? Please type the number and the letter of the correct answer. Okay. A famous basketball player, 
recommends a particular brand of skates. Okay, we also ha we have here, napakabilis ni Paul Vincent. It's letter B. Testimonial. That's correct. Good job. It's testimonial. Very nice. Let's have number two. Congratulations to those who answered letter B. Your answers are all correct. Number two. If a brand of snack food is loaded with sugar and calories, the commercial may boast that the product is low in fat, which implies that it is also low in calories. If a brand of snack food is loaded with sugar and calories, the commercial may boast that the product is low in fat, which implies that it's also low in calories. What's your answer for number two? Okay, we have the same choices and all you just have to do po is to... <laughs> I uh, choose the letter of the correct answer. Okay, do we have an answer now? Ayan. So we have an answer from, 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 from Christopher. Haname. Ayan, ang bilis. Napakabilis ng mga sagot ninyo. Oh, it's card stacking po. It's a letter D. Bakit? Okay. Remember, it's like, if a brand of snack food is loaded with sugar and calories, the commercial may boast um, ignoring the negative po and highlighting the positive one. It's card stacking. Ayan. So do we have a divided answer here? Dane Badajos got the correct answer. Good job, Ate Dane. Ayan, divided po. Okay, divided po. Card stacking. It's like ignoring the negative, the negativity and just focusing on the positive one. Na low in fat and low in calories. Okay, let's have number three. A political candidate is labeling his opponent a corrupt leader. A political candidate is labeling his opponent a corrupt leader. Do we, we also have the same? Ayan, so we have an answer already? <laughs> yes. We have the same options lang po. All you just have to do is to choose. Okay, which one? For number three, do we have an answer? Yes, ambilis. The answered letter C. That's good. Okay, trash talking the other product or person. Good job. Let's have number four. A beach resort has its poster with a picture of beautiful view and a tagline that says, Experience real paradise designed to attract tourists. Nasaan ba to? Kasi kailangan ko ng paradise ngayon. <laughs> Kailangan natin ng paradise ngayon kasi ang dami-daming ginagawa ng mga teachers ngayon eh. Experience real paradise. Ano po yan? Okay, so we have the same choices. All you just have to do is to choose the correct propaganda technique used. Nasaan ba itong beach resorts na it, na, resort na ito? <laughs> okay, do we have an answer for number four? Let me see. Kung meron kayong beautiful beaches dyan, you invite us, okay? <laughs> Let's have the answer for number four. Yes, that's correct. It's glittering generalities. Kasi paradise, words of praise, goodness. Okay? Experience real paradise. Let's have number five. Good job, everyone. We're doing good. Five. Maria has doubts about buying products online, but since most of her friends are doing it, she dismisses her doubts and went ahead to buy some products online. And again, we have the same options. All you have to do is to choose. Again, this girl has doubts about buying products online. But since most of her friends are doing it, she dismisses her doubts and went ahead to buy some products online. Okay, do we have an answer already for number five? Ayan, ambilis. It's letter D. I see common answers. Yes, that's good. Okay, doing online shopping, parang naging banwagon din ako dito kasi yung mga nakapaligid sa akin nag online shopping. Hindi ako nag online shopping so, noon kasi kasi I am saving money. But now, parang na banwagon ako. Ayan po. So, congratulations, Judith. Who got 5 over 5 again? You know the drill. Comment the scores in the comment section. Tingnan po natin. If you got a perfect score. Ayan. Let me see who got 5 over 5. Tingnan po natin. Okay. Please, please again, tap the heart react. Okay. If you're having fun, kasi gusto lang po natin dito sa Ito Line na we'll only have fun. Okay. Okay po. While we are um doing our modules, it's good to have fun. Okay po ba? <laughs> yes, who got 5 over 5? 
Yes, everyone got 5 over 5. Leia De Vera got 5 over 5. Okay. Ayan po. I know Tutor Ruby will be replaying this session and she will really be happy. Okay, so Tutis, what did we learn today? Ayan. Today, I have learned that propaganda is... Okay, congratulations, everyone. While you are typing your answer, I would just like to congratulate again. Dane Badajos, Rachel Omak, Chin Chin Shonse, May Serato. Very good. Ayan, lovely Villanueva. Hello po, Jasmine. Congratulations. So what is propaganda? Today, we have learned that propaganda is... Is a media that uses carefully crafted messages to manipulate people's actions and beliefs. You see, you manifested that you will you would get five over five, and it happened. You got five over five. So see, two twenty two twenty two is a perfect day to manifest all your dreams. <laughs> okay, po, but duty is it's not that okay. It's not that only you will wait for two twenty two twenty two to manifest your dreams. You can manifest your dreams anytime. All right. Okay, and we have also learned that propaganda has different types, such as magbibigay ako ng isa, name calling. What are the other propaganda techniques used or discussed in our lesson today? Sige nga. Ayan, Aaron, very good, has five commonly used techniques. Good job, Aaron Ace. What else? Today, I've learned, according to Avana, used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or point of view. Yes, you are right. So before anything, ito po, in addition to this, marami tayong na-encounter na propaganda every day, especially now that we are, this year, we will be having our national elections, right? So marami tayong na naririnig or nababasa na mga propaganda, okay? And sometimes the word propaganda is, in its sense, Parang nagiging negative, okay? Ayan po. So, you are already enumerating glittering generalities, testimonial card stacking, and bandwagon. So, let's check whether our objectives were attained today. Number one, enumerate the kinds of propaganda techniques. Explain the goal of propaganda used and create an original propaganda poster advertising Itulai. Yes, we were able to attain it. Very good. Now, Chutis, hanap nga kayo ng random viewer sa comment section tapos ilike nyo yung comment niya. Ayan. Because I want you to be friends here lang. Alright? Kahit hindi sa the same school, kahit sa ibang school. Okay po? Find a random viewer in the comment section tsaka like nyo yung comment niya. Okay? That would tell him or her that he has done a good job in our session today. Now, Chutis, eto na yung pinakahihintay na additional exercise na i-excite din ako dito. You are tasked to create an original propaganda poster for Itulai. Use at least two propaganda techniques and explain how they are evident in your poster. The best poster or posters will be featured in the next episode and posted on Itulai's Facebook page. Okay, at ito po yung rubric na isasend ko po mamaya sa ating mga GCs so that you will be guided on how you are graded in our activity. So don't forget to submit your outputs to Chudor Ruby with Chudor Ruby Lincabardo Pastrana as her Facebook account name at Chudor Jovi Jovel Templado Tempil. So Tuesdays catch us always at 2.20 to 3 p.m. because Tuesday is Choose English Day. Catch also our other tutors from English 7 to English 10. Your voices matter to us Tuesdays. Kaya naman huwag kalimutang magbigay ng feedback and evaluation po. Please take a screenshot of this QR code or you can also uh, click the link in the comment section na isisend ko po mamaya so that you can evaluate this session. It's super fun times again, Chutis. Thank you so much for doing such a great job. Kamaayo good ninyo. Okay, maayo kaayo mo. Thank you so much for participating. I really appreciate the effort, your time, and your presence even though we're Virtual only, and I felt that we are we're just having fun. Okay, see you in our next fun session. Don't forget, cheater Job and cheater Ellie for English Nine, your cheater base. Goodbye, everyone. Class dismissed. Goodbye. <laughs>